I was a father when I won Wimbledon uh, at the age of 22. Uh, and then I had another baby quickly after that. And that was a huge sacrifice. Um, but it was, you know, what a pleasure to to come home after a, you know, a, a bad day and to see those, see the, see the babies there. Um, you know, that is really is, puts things into perspective. Um, you know, for me, that was, that was the most important thing and it's, it still is the most important thing in the world. It, you know, that, and the kids don't care if daddy wins or loses, really. They're, they're daddy and, you know, you're signing autographs and it's amazing the answers I used to get. The, you, know, the, uh, you know, your daddy's, you know, Pat Cash and they go, he's just daddy, you know, he's, <laughs> he's no superstar, <laughs> he's just dad. You know, I see him around in his underwear and he's not, they're thinking he's not, he's, he's no superstar, believe me. <laughs> For me, the best advice is very simple. Don't forget that tennis is a game, so enjoy yourself. It's a lot that I've been thinking when I played, uh, especially when I was a younger player and played against the, the top guys, seated, seated player, was that there's a certain time, a certain uh, day that you can beat anybody. Uh, and uh, I've, uh, I've used that quite a bit to believe that I can, you know, I can do that. And that came from a very uh, smart, guy and a great coach Harry Hopman at the time and <laughs> so if, uh, um, it's a great advice in a way to take pressure off you and um, to believe that you can beat a great player. I think the only way you can play really smart tennis is to be quite emotional. Obviously you have to be able to handle your emotions but I believe you make smarter choices with your heart. It's just in romance that you don't. But in tennis, you make them with your heart. It's a feeling of this is the right thing, wrong thing. Logical, tactical decisions work sometimes, but at crunch time, 30 or break point, it has to come from the heart. One well, the best advice I think I ever got was, it was not in words, but it was the way I felt when I played with Bjorn Borg the first time. I was 14 or 15 years old and I played with Bjorn and he came obviously as a nice guy as Bjorn always is, very nice, very polite, very down to earth, you know, we spoke a little bit before the practice, but when the practice started, when he put on the switch, his concentration during the practice and the intensity of that practice, he didn't need any explanation and then I understood why this guy has 11 Grand Slams. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, find out who will shine on the hard courts of Cincinnati. And here come the young Americans, the next-gen players hoping for glory stateside. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week.